When we hear the word intelligence, we often think about IQ or how smart we are, what we see here on the tip of the iceberg. Our intelligence or IQ represents abilities such as processing information, knowledge, skills, our quantitative reasoning, as well as memory. This is also sometimes known as book smarts. But as you can see in this iceberg, there's also something called emotional intelligence, which sometimes is referred to as street smarts. This has to do with abilities regarding identifying emotions, evaluating how others feel, controlling our own emotions, perceiving how others feel, using emotions to facilitate social communication, and relating to others. While IQ is an important element of success, having high emotional intelligence has also been found to have a strong impact in the business world. High EQ can result in better decision making and problem solving, keeping cool under pressure as well as resolving conflicts, and allow us to listen, reflect, and respond to constructive criticism. So if we look at self-awareness, so this is where we're looking at ourselves and under the recognition quadrant. This is the ability to understand your emotions as well as recognize their impact on relationships and performance. So are you able to read your emotions and correctly assess what you're feeling and why? In addition, your self-assuredness about your self-worth and capabilities are a part of the self-awareness. When we look at social awareness, this has to do with the other. This is the ability to identify emotions in other people and understand their perspective and take an interest in their concerns. This requires empathy or an actual connection to what the other person is feeling. In addition, it helps with organizational awareness and can lead to service orientation or helping others. When we look at self-management, this is your ability to control your emotions and using your awareness to stay positive and flexible how much self-control you have in the way you display your emotions, your transparency, your adaptability, your initiative, as well as achievement drive. With relationship management, this is your ability to use your emotional self-awareness with your understanding of others' emotions to manage your interactions successfully. Interactions include leadership and influence, developing others, change management, conflict management, building relationships and bonds, as well as teamwork and collaboration. So what are some strategies to improve your EQ in these different quadrants? With self-awareness, it's helpful to reflect on your emotions. So some questions to think about initially is to identify the emotion that you're feeling. Secondly, you want to ask yourself how or why did these feelings arise? What are the underlying causes that is triggering this emotion for you? And what information do they carry? For social awareness, you want to ask others for their perspective and explore the why. You can initially try to identify what they're feeling through your own observations, but it's really helpful to just ask what they're feeling rather than assuming that you know what their experience is like. It's also helpful to ask why those feelings may be arising for them. In terms of self-management, you can use the pause. In reflecting on your emotions and whatever it is that you're feeling, ask yourself, how do you want to feel? Is the emotion that you're currently having the one that you want? If not, what do you want to transition to? And what do you need to do in order to feel that way? This is where you're making a conscious choice about what emotions you currently have and what you want them to be. In terms of relationship management, it takes practice. Get feedback. Try not to take offense and ask, what can I learn? How do you want others to feel? and ask them, what do you need to do in order for them to feel that way? Emotional intelligence isn't something you're born with. It's the result of education, specifically in how to interpret ourselves, where our emotions arise from, how our childhoods influence us, and how we might best navigate our fears and wishes. We can feel the presence of emotional intelligence in a sensitivity to the moods of others and in a readiness to grasp the surprising things that may be going on for them beneath the surface. The emotionally intelligent refuse to trust their first impulses, but rather to really understand what may be driving your own emotions and behaviors as well as what's driving other people's emotions and behaviors.